Hey everyone! So I have a story for us today. It's called Butterflies and it is an example of informational text or expository text just giving information and facts about a topic. Um, you might notice that some of the illustrations are actually diagrams because some parts on the butterfly are being labeled. Here we go. Butterflies. Butterflies come in all shapes and sizes. Some are big, some are small. Some have bright spots and some have markings like dark patterns on their wings. The monarch and the skipper are two kinds of butterflies. The monarch is bigger and more colorful than the skipper. The monarch is bright orange and black. It has white spots. The skipper is brown and has clear spots. Although these two butterflies look different, they have the same body parts as all other butterflies. Here are the butterfly body parts. Wings, antennae, head, legs. Butterflies come in all shapes and sizes. All butterflies have the same body parts. Next page. Now, how butterflies grow and change. All butterflies become adults in the same way. Every butterfly has four stages in its life. The first stage is that of an egg. A butterfly begins life as an egg. The egg is about the size of the top of a pin and it's usually laid right on a leaf. The egg is sticky, so it stays on the leaf. Stage two, when the egg hatches, a caterpillar comes out. This part of the butterfly's life is called the larva stage. When the caterpillar is large enough, it will hook itself onto a leaf or a branch. Stage three, pupa. The caterpillar makes a hard shell or case to live in. It usually stays inside the shell for a few weeks. This is called the pupa stage. Inside the shell, the caterpillar grows and changes. Stage four, adult. When the shell breaks open, the caterpillar has completely changed into a butterfly. This is the adult stage. After its wings are dry, the butterfly is ready to fly away. So what I would like you guys to do for me is I would like you to label the four stages of the butterfly's life cycle that we just talked about. The caterpillar, the chrysalis, the butterfly, and the egg. Then for fun, I would like you to draw me a butterfly by following these steps. Step one, you need, um, and I'd probably place this about in the middle, you need a head with two eyes, okay? And then you might erase those lines in order to get um, the eyes nice and clear. Let's see if I can do that without damaging my, oh no, what have I done? I'm gonna try those eyes again. One. Oh, those are rough. Hopefully yours will turn out better. Then I'm gonna do the body. And their body is segmented or it has different parts. Kind of like a bug or an ant might have, right? Like I, I imagine those parts having different names, though I couldn't tell you what they were. I'm gonna go ahead and do um, some more details on those eyes and give them a little smile. Some antennae. And none of this has to be perfect. This is just for fun. Now you might add some stripes or markings along the body of the butterfly. 
And then comes the fun part, the big segmented wing, also having parts. Let's try that again. Big. Oh, yeah, I like that one better than the first one. All right, all that's left is for me to repeat that detail a little bit so that I can get some cool patterns or markings on the leaf, or I should say on the wing of the butterfly. And then you can go through with different colors, different shapes, and finish this off. I can't wait to see your labels and your butterfly. Thanks for watching. Bye now.